The president's determined efforts to get his wall one way or another appear to be losing steam as Republican opposition to his national emergency declaration grows to the point where he might have to use the first veto of his presidency on shutting down a congressional effort to stop him from doing it. He doesn't even seem to care that much. His attention and energy sapped by worry over the Mueller investigation, an unwelcome intrusion of the House's investigative committees into every aspect of his life, he hasn't made any efforts to head off the Republican rebellion, and they aren't exactly quaking in their boots at the consequences of their backstabbing. His casual dismissal of any repercussions for his vote is telling, for it reveals just how little political capital the president has to work with on the Hill and how weak his own party thinks he is. Given how hard he complained about the failure of the Obamacare repeal, to this day, he still takes pot shots at the now-dead John McCain for his vote and the hyper-aggressive, overcompensating way that he responds to the slightest indication of disloyalty or criticism from anyone and everyone. It's very surprising to see him treat this dissension in the ranks with kid gloves and perhaps a sign that the cracks in the shell of Donald Trump are about to splinter beyond repair.